we're at the Dementia Lab Conference. It's a three-day event and it's the sixth edition. And what uh, the Dementia Lab Conference does is it allows people from industry, students, educators, researchers to come together and talk about designing for people with dementia. One of my professors always says, if you get things right for people living with dementia, you get it right for everyone. So I'm hoping that there is some kind of person-centered approach that includes people living with dementia and their carers in everything that we do for them. It's not something we do to them, it's something we do with them. This year's program of the Dementia Lab Conference is very diverse. First day, we started with presentations and discussions on Certification D. Certification D is a European project that tries to tackle an important topic for people with dementia. It tries to give them an insight in what good objects for people with dementia are. Companies can go to partners of the Certification D project to get their projects tested and certified. They will get a mark that will indicate that these products have been created in a dementia-friendly way. If you look at the feedback which I've learned today from the people who are living with dementia and their loved ones, that they have been fully involved, engaged, they were able to give their opinion freely and fairly, and it has taken their needs very carefully. So I think overall I get the confidence this project is serving that purpose very well, and they will continue to do so. There is a beginning, there is a middle, there is an end, but it is not end. En voor ons is het ontzettend belangrijk om ja, die groei in Europa te kunnen bewerkstelligen. En daar is vandaag een hele mooie voorzet voor gegeven. The rest of the program holds paper presentations, more reflective work. There are also workshops, more interactive formats to discuss and reflect. And we also have a screening of an important movie on people with dementia. L'atelier était hyper intéressant, ça nous a permis de nous rappeler Euh, l'importance de l'esthétique, des couleurs, euh, des formes, ces éléments euh, pour euh, l'appropriation de solutions par les personnes atteintes d'une démence. This year, we're especially excited about the fact that we have, uh, on World Alzheimer Day, we have the launching of an exhibition. The exhibition is called Talking About Things, and it basically is uh, an exhibition on the streets of Leuven where the public gets to interact with 16 stories all across Leuven that tell the importance of objects for people with dementia and their family members and carers. I find it fantastic that you go to the pure medical world and look at what can people help to keep a quality life, even if you have the dementia. Forget even the dementia and look at what is the structure that you need. And there are very nice stories above about the steps that people in a trusted environment hold. So I find it very original and very good. I hope that effectively for the people who see it, gezien wordt dat de dementie niet meer dan een ziekte is en dat uh, ja, elke mens een ziekte kan hebben, maar het blijft een mens. Hier soir, on a été surpris par l'équipe parce qu'ils ont emmené euh, la foire qui est juste à côté. Donc euh, c'était assez disruptif dans la façon euh, de nous accueillir et euh, de nous remercier d'être euh, d'être présent. C'était hyper sympa, ça permet vraiment de créer du lien avec les autres acteurs, à la fois avec les chercheurs, les autres entrepreneurs. Voor ons is de dag echt heel erg geslaagd. We zijn een ander bedrijf tegengekomen die uh, heel mooi in de lijn ligt van wat we willen bereiken. En uh, daar zou zomaar eens een hele goede samenwerking uit voort kunnen komen.